Hello everybody, Crips here and welcome yet again. There you go, I said it, yet again. So what am I doing today? Well, I'm going to teach you how you can make uh, a teleporting effect using Corel Video. Now, whatever version you use, 2, 3, 4, or 5, it doesn't matter. It can all be done in the in Corel Video. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm going to show you a little demo clip. Here we go. Here's me pretending to disappear. And then... Where do I go? All right, so like I said, it's nothing fancy. It's just uh, for demo purposes only. So let's uh, launch Corel Video. Now, my tip of the day or my recommendation is when you're making this uh, type of effect, make sure you use your camera on a tripod and do not touch it. Once you've got it mounted up, leave it because you're going to need to make two clips, two separate clips, but you don't want the background to be moved even by an inch because... As one clip fades out and goes on to the next clip, if it's off by an inch, people will see it move. And, you know, you're just, it's just going to look really crappy for you. And that's not cool, right? All right, so your first clip, it uh, doesn't matter what you do in your first clip, it's up to you. And then put that into your main video track. Now, the clip that you want to disappear, you put into your overlay track. So let's grab that clip. So here is that guy who's going to disappear. So let's bring him right to the beginning. And original size. Okay, now with your main clip, uh, you're done. You don't need to do anything with it. All the magic gets done in your overlay cr uh, track. I was going to say clip and then track, and then I just completely uh, muffled that up. Anyway, double click and go to mask, chroma key, and you want to add uh, a mask or a chroma key to this. So apply it to your overlay clip, make sure it's completely black, and bring your opacity right down. To zero, so that brings it right back to a full, full, uh, full opacity, I guess. Geez, I'm not really sure on words today, am I? Anyway, next thing you need is your picture and picture filter. So there you go, and double click. So once you got your picture and picture filter applied into your overlay track, customs filter, and all the magic gets done here. And it's Really, really simple. All right, make sure that you are on your first keyframe. So by using this uh, icon here, just double uh, click once, and it brings it right back to your first uh, keyframe. Now, all you need to do is make sure all these are set at zero. That's right, zero, zero, zero. The size of your picture must be at 100, so 100%, and your opacity must also be at 100. So as you can see, everything is turned down, turned down. Now you need to make sure your clip is in the center. So zero and zero. Okay, we're done. Now if I go to the last keyframe, I will need to apply all the same attributes. So down, 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 down. 100 and let's have a look yes okay also needs to be in the center of the screen and let's have a look okay and okay so everything looks good now i can test it just to make sure nothing's moving while we're playing all right so we can see the blur is slightly moving so let's make sure the blur is there you go 2.2 so always check anything else moving Nope. All right, so now we have everything ready to go. So first thing we need to do is, using your scrubber, look at your preview window, either here or here, it doesn't really matter, and find out when he decides to disappear. So I would say the minute his thumb hits that button, so let's go click. All right, so we need to insert a keyframe. Very simple. You just move that slider, you've created the keyframe. It doesn't matter which slider you move. You just move one slider, make sure you're positioned. Because all you want to do is create a keyframe. All right, let's go to our last keyframe. And we want to crank the opacity right down because we want it to disappear. Now, believe it or not, you're done. It is that simple. Press OK. Let's go to the beginning of our project. And here he is. All 
There you go, my folks, or my friends. It's that simple. My opacity here was uh, not quite zero. That's why you saw a little bit of the uh, other clip coming through. There you go. Looks pretty good now. And that's it. As you can see, it's done relatively easy. Now, before I go, I'd like to mention another viewer who also made a tutorial, and I really think it's worth having a look. So if you go to Freedom Earth Moon 1, he has made a very, very cool uh, clip. As you can see. And it's a tutorial, and he will teach you how he did it. And it's very, very good. I actually enjoyed it, and I highly recommend it. If you want to try something like that out, please have a look at his uh, clip. All right. Now, as always... Thanks for watching.